Can you sense something strange? Like we're living amidst a big change? Not a change to a new form of rocket ships. What's becoming more obvious is we need a change in consciousness. I'm talking change as we remove splinters from our brains. As we identify the sources of our pains. Mm. As we release these invisible chains. And so my flows will not be about hoes while half the globe's lacking food and clothes. Yep. Our culture's filled with information, but never wisdom. Little kids sitting glued to the television, getting locked into a mental prison. TV, creating hella victims, inflicting tunnel vision, and programming our decisions. Clicking off is the mission. See, what if I don't conform and form a swarm of brainstorms to break all the norms? My life's been a roller coaster ride through space and time. I wasn't facing time, but I let demons infiltrate my mind. Living life centered around wasting time until I woke up, said I ain't wasting mine. Metaphorical scoliosis, now I got a straightened spine. But then I felt searing pain. The world's wounds have no covering. Oceans gasping for air while civilization is smothering. Meanwhile, Gaia is trying to do some mothering. Mm. Confused kids, we just pollute her with another thing. Mm. See, we live in a world of paradox. Kenyan kids yearn for a pair of socks while Americans anxiously stare at clocks, wasting our entire lives away until we open up our eyes and say, I'm taking off this blindfold, revealing my divine soul and changing up my mind's mold. But we're up against the machine's invincible wrath. Tough to keep the torch lit on the invisible path. You may get lost in the darkness of despair, seeing no way out of that devilish lair. But deep in your heart, there remains an ember. Synchronistic deja vu helps you remember that a more beautiful world is possible, even amongst monstrous obstacles. All it takes is a new pair of perceptual spectacles to see that life is ineffably incredible, unforgettably majestical, because butterflies and caterpillars' DNA is identical. And the universe will help you unleash your potential. A change in beliefs is all that's essential. See, the world we live in is infinitely intricate. Just got to find your niche amidst the symphony of instruments. And it's the space in between that gives life to the dream. If you keep your eyes keen, then you'll see what I mean. <laughs> and beyond pessimist, optimist dichotomies, our practical transition town philosophies towards a world with less PCBs and a lot of trees based on reciprocities. <laughs> Converging revolutions, there are lots of these sprouting up like poppy seeds at increasing velocities. And once your ego de deflates, you become humbled and grounded. Realize the universe has us surrounded. surrounded. <laughs> Feeling interconnected, you're bound to be astounded. But separation's been ingrained in us. No culture's as insane as us. 
thinking we're invincible, we snorted too much angel dust <laughs> to break this vicious cycle. We got to live spontaneous. And these are just pieces to a thesis on top of exotic hypnagogic logic. And essentially the conclusion is that separation is an illusion. No species deemed exclusion from deleterious pollution. So you may ask, who, what, where, when, how? But we're the ones we've been waiting for. The transition is now. That is paradigm shifting flow tree. And uh, this next one I like to call back like a boomerang. Spread good karma comes back like a boomerang. Give and receive, and we swing like orangutans. <laughs> I said spread good karma.